let's look at what the complement of a set is. So the definition we have is that the complement of a set A is the set of elements that are not in A, where A is just any set. And the keynote for complements is that the symbol used to denote the complement of a set A is either A with a superscript and a small c or A with a superscript and then a dash. Let's look at some examples where we use complement. So we've got the universal set in this question, which is the numbers 1 to 10. And then we've got set A, which is the numbers 1 to 5. Set B, which is 5, 8, 9 and 10. And set C, which is 3, 6, 9 and 10. So we can write A complement as A with a superscript C. And this is all of the elements that are not in the set A. So set A contains elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And so in our question, we've got the universal set, which is the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So all the elements that are not in A, but are in the universal set, are 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And this is A complement. We could have also used this notation here, so A and then superscript dash, and this would be the same as A complement here. Let's work out B complement, so we have B, and this time let's use the dash notation, and so this is all of the elements that are not in set B, but are in the universal set. So 5, 8, 9, and 10 are in B, so we want all the elements that are not in B, and so that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 7. These are all of the elements that are not in B, but are in the universal set. And finally, if we wanted to work out C complement, so we have C and then we can use the superscript of a small c, then that would be equal to all of the elements that are not in C, but are in the universal set. So that's 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 8. These are all of the elements that are not in C, but are in the universal set. And so therefore, they're in C complement. Let's work out some other sets too. So if we had A union B all complemented and we tried to work this out, then we do the following. So the set inside the brackets is A union B. We first need to work that out. So if we work out A union B, we have all of the elements that are in A, in B, or in both. So if we count the numbers, then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9 and 10. These are all of the elements that are in A union B. Now to work out the complement of A union B, we require all of the elements that are not in this set, but are in the universal set. So in other words, we can't have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9 and 10 in this set here. And so A union B complement is equal to the set that contains the element 6 and the element 7 since 6 and 7 are in the universal set, but they're not in A union B. And so therefore, they're in the complement of A union B. Something else to note is that when you have a set in brackets and you've got a complement outside, then we can apply the complement to each of the symbols inside the brackets and we would get exactly the same set. So in other words, if we have a union B all complemented, then applying the complement to each of the symbols inside, we get the following. So applying the complement to A, we get A complement. Then the union, we switch that over to intersection because of the complement outside. So this becomes intersection and then the B applied with the complement becomes B complement. So if we were to work out A complement intersect B complement, then that would be exactly the same as A union B all complemented. Let's check that to see if that works. Previously, we worked out A complement and B complement as these two sets. And so if we work out the intersection of these two, then we have A complement intersect B complement equals to all of the elements that are in A complement and B complement. And that is six and seven. So we have six and seven. And notice how this is exactly the same as the set we have for A union B complement. Let's look at one last example. So we're trying to work out A complement intersect B all complemented. So we first need to work out what A complement is. We did that previously. So A complement equals to 6, 7, 8, 
9 and 10 then we also have set B here and we need to work out the intersection of A complement and B. So A complement intersect B is the set of elements that are in A complement and B. And so that would be 8, which is in both sets, 9, which is in both sets, and 10, which is in both sets. So we have the set that contains 8, 9, and 10. And so finally, to work out a complement intersect B all complemented, we need all of the elements that are not in this set. In other words, A complement intersect B all complemented is equal to the set that contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, since these are the elements that are not in A complement intersect B. If we were to apply the complement to each of the symbols inside the brackets, we would get the following set we would have A complement complemented, which is A, then the intersection symbol switches over to union, and then B complemented is B complement. So working out A union B complement would give us this exact same set. B complement we worked out previously as all of the elements that are not in B, but in the universal set. So that's one, two, three, four, six, and seven. And so finally, if we work out A union B complement, that's all the elements that are in A, in B complement, or in both. And so that would equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So notice how these two sets are exactly the same.